Okay, like I said from the last video, uh, I'm gonna take a look at the parking brake because it's not releasing. Like, the tension is good. It connects about here, uh, and it connects all the way up, and it's solid. I mean, it works, but when I put it down, it doesn't actually release. Uh, back wheels are still locked. So I'm gonna take this apart just to see if the issue is up here or if the issue is in the back of the tire. So it's also giving me a chance to clean out, uh, you know, this little pocket thing here and, you know, try and get all the gunk off the uh, parking brake, emergency brake. The way this is done is it's gonna be hard to see because my seat's in the way, but we get down here. There's two screws, one on each side, and that'll just allow the uh, front cover here to just pull up and over. So we'll do that. We'll get that off and we'll see what the condition of the, uh, you know, the connectors are in there just to make sure they're not binding on this end. I do think the issue is back uh, on the wheels though. So I'll be back. Took a little bit of time, but I got it off. Not only are there's two screws, there's this clip, which I couldn't quite figure out how it works. Under here, it just kind of slides into there, but I was afraid to like pull and tug because, uh, you know, if it's brittle, good luck if I can find another one of these. Um, but if we go back here, it's filthy because the prior owners had dogs and I cleaned out like a half a dog, I think, of dog hair. Um, but that's fine, it doesn't really hurt anything, it's just nasty. So back here, there is a, when you pull this forward, it pulls on both sides, which close the brakes back in the wheels. And from what I can see, it's sliding pretty good. They go in and out pretty easily. There's a little bit of resistance, but it feels like it's up here in the mechanism. You can hear it. That's okay. I don't think it's hurting anything. I will clean out this before I put it all back together. But it engages. Right there, first click, you can feel the resistance start. So I think everything up here is fine. Uh, I never really thought the problem was here, but I thought I'd, it's easier to get to than taking the wheel off and looking at everything. But that's what I'm gonna do next. So this is gonna be fun. Back in a bit. Okay, it's the driver's side. It's filthy. I cleaned it up a little bit. There's a, there was a bit of brake dust here. Uh, you know, the drum dust that had built up and just not found its way out. So, um, you know, it is what it is. I don't know how old these are. These are, I don't know if these are the original pads, if they were ever done. I don't have an easy way to measure them either. But they don't look terrible. Overall, the unit doesn't look too bad either. There's some, yeah, rusted clips and whatnot. But, uh. The drums themselves, yeah, pretty. Are you know? There's, there's, they're, they're indented into the into the drum. So th these are obviously, you know, worn. But the issue isn't so much with the brakes. The issue is just the emergency brake not letting go. So what I did was record a clip because I can't do this myself. I recorded a clip. I'll play it here and. What you can see is as I pull and release the emergency brake, the, uh, this side seems to be fine. This side seems to be letting go easily. And, uh, you know, it's just a first glance without actually, you know, being able to take it apart and uh, really look, you know, behind everything. It's just, you know, everything is clean. There's, there's, no, there's no issue with it, uh, you know, like rubbing. The, the drum itself took a little bit to get off. But it wasn't stuck, it wasn't seized. You know, I don't think it's the brakes itself. I think it's just the release lever in some way. So what I'm gonna do now is put this back together uh, and go to the other side and see what the, the passenger side looks like. Um, I'm hoping it's over there, because if it's if it's not, then well, then I have to do a lot more, a lot more digging than I wanted to. So let me do that and I'll be back in a bit. So here's the passenger side, and it's just as dirty as the other one. Pads are looking it's the same. Like, you can read the lettering. It looks like the same width. I don't think they're worn too badly. There's nothing obvious. 
that I can see. And the video showed that the parking brake is releasing the, the you know, the pressure just fine. So the drum on this side uh, is just as worn as the other one. There's a groove around the outside. Uh, I think it's a little worse on the other side. I can't really tell. Nothing's bound. Everything moved. This one came off really easily. The other one didn't. Uh, the other one kind of felt like it was stuck. Like the uh, the boots, uh, the pads themselves were like, they were out uh, and I couldn't get them out. But um, I expected that to be normal. But this side practically fell off. So maybe the problem is over there, and maybe it is the groove around the, uh, you know, that, that's been, that's been bore into the, into the drum. I don't, I'm not quite sure. Uh, everything is, you know, lubricated and, like, there's no, I mean, there's nothing binding. So I don't, I don't know what else it could be. I'm going to put everything back together and, you know, just see what the behavior is. Maybe just taking it apart and releasing it was enough to figure out what was stuck. But, uh... I do have to have the inspection next month, so if I can't figure out by next month, I'm going to talk to the guys there and see if they can figure out what it might be. It's not an adjustment because uh, they're releasing far enough where the wheels are spinning without any, you don't hear any grinding with the wheel on, with the brake off. Uh, I just can't figure out which wheel is stuck. Um, so the investigation continues, but uh, I find an answer, I'll put it in here. I may actually have to spring for, for more drums. I'll do some research. That's it for now. I'll have an update on this, hopefully, when I have an answer. Bye.